We're going to be palpating the muscle known as extensor digitorum brevis. Extensor digitorum brevis is one of the two muscles on the dorsum of the foot. So what we're going to start off by looking for is its origin, which is the dorsal surface of the calcaneus. The landmark that I like to use for that is to first identify the lateral malleolus of the fibula. And you're going to roll anterior off of it, and you often find this hollow. It's almost like a sinking location. So kind of medial to my hand here is the talus, but this is still calcaneus. And then just as still that's going to be the cuboid. So right in this hollow right in here is the origin. This is calcaneus, the dorsal surface of it. So I'm going to place my finger. And then what I'm going to do is hold down toes one and five. And I'm gonna ask him to try and lift two, three, and four up off the table, like so. Good, so if you're looking just past my finger, he's gonna relax his foot back down. So look right where I'm pushing on right now, right in this area here. Go ahead and start to lift up your toes. Good, so this is extensor digitorum brevis's belly. So it's nice and easy to see. In some instances, it might take on a little bit of a blue hue to it. So I like to call it the blue marshmallow. He's gonna lift his foot up again. Great, so right in that area, you can see his extensor digitorum brevis muscle. And what's unique about it is that it only attaches to three of the toes. So often it's two to five, two to five, two to five, but in this muscle's instance, it's actually only two to four. So that's why I've asked him to lift his toes up while held down one and five. So we basically have a muscle belly and then a tendon, and the tendon's gonna be underneath this very obvious looking digitorum, and it's gonna blend into the longest tendon near the metatarsal phalangeal joint. Now, if we look really, really carefully on our model, he's gonna relax his toes all the way. I want a very small amount of resistance, and we're gonna kinda of look right in this area here. So again, he's gonna to start to lift up his toes right there. There is a secondary tendon, not this more obvious one. Relax, and now start to lift up again, and up, up, up. Good, and I'm gonna kinda of pull down on it, and then one more time. So I can use my nail, and I'm actually cross-fibering his brevis tendon kind of right in this area as it works its way back towards the muscle belly. So think there's one of those tendons for these three toes. So again, we're gonna put a little bit of pressure on this one and right in this area here, it's going underneath the digitorum longus back towards belly and we'll do this one more time. And this one again, you can quite easily see that. Relax your toe down and just start to pick up this toe right there. There's a tendon, it's quite strummable and then it's gonna go, kinda of get buried as it goes underneath longus back to its muscle belly origin. The insertion's a little bit tricky, but again, it's blending in to the extensor digitorum longus coming in from the lateral side, so that's often what it states is that inserts into the lateral side of this longus tendon, and longus is gonna be going into the middle and distal phalanx, in this case, two to four, via the dorsal digital expansion. So depending on your text reference, um, because that this is attaching to the longest tendon, I'm just gonna include all of the toe joints, even though there is a little controversy and how much action does it actually have on the distal phalanx. So again, he's gonna lift up on those toes. Great, just like that. So it's extending the metatarsal phalangeal, the proximal and the distal phalangeal joint of toes to through four. And that's gonna conclude our palpation of extensor digitorum brevis. We're gonna be palpating the muscle known as extensor hallucis brevis. So if you've already watched our previous video on extensor digitorum brevis, we're gonna be looking for the same origin. I'm gonna be finding the lateral malleolus of the fibula, just rolling off that. There's a little bit of a hollow sinking location here, and this is the dorsal surface of the calcaneus with the cuboid just distal to that. So this right here is the belly for extensor digitorum brevis, but if we had just a little bit more medial in that similar location, this is gonna be the origin for extensor hallucis brevis. So what I'm gonna ask my partner to do right now, just while I'm keeping my finger in this area, is to just lift his big toe up 
good, and back down. Now he's able to do this quite nicely and just isolating the big toe. You're not wanting all the other toes to stick up, so you might need to hold the toes down while they just use the big toe. So we're gonna take a look, just kind of right by my finger here, and you're gonna, if you can repeat that action for me a couple times, and up, good, and then relax back down, and let's do that again one more time, good. So I can feel the belly, it's not sticking up a lot, but again, this is a pretty small muscle and a lot of us don't extend our big toe all that often. There are a couple tendons to help us kind of look for the proximate area. So right in this area here, this is extensor hallucis longus tendon. And if he sticks up all of his toes up in the air, this is the extensor digitorum longus tendon. So if you start on that dorsal surface of the calcaneus, you'll lose it as it goes underneath the digitorum, but then you're gonna be able to feel a little bit of the belly between the two longus tendon. So hallucis and digitorum. I'm gonna place my fingers, you're gonna relax all of his toes down, and then just start to lift that big toe up again for me. Great. So right in here, just the last part of the muscle belly before it turns to tendon, and then that tendon is gonna run down the foot and actually go underneath the longest tendon before it inserts into the base of the proximal phalanx. You can go ahead and relax your toe. So again, here is the metatarsal phalangeal joint and this is the base of that proximal phalanx. So because it's really only crossing this one joint from dorsal surface of calcaneus to proximal phalanx, the only action that it's really doing is extending the big toe at the metatarsal phalangeal joint. And that's gonna conclude our palpation of extensor halysis brevis.